Yeah. I mean, I had some notes on the stuff you did, but I want to talk about it with you because it's much more fun when we talk about it than. <sighs> These are uh, oh, pretty out there, though. Yeah. I play tennis like. Five, oh, you do? Five, That's five, awesome. Four days a week. I'm at, uh, at the park. All right, there. boys, here we go. Ten seconds. I'll open the mic on the second one. I'll let you guys know. I have to do the intro first. Yeah, so when you're, uh, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. Yeah. Cool. yeah. All right, let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Rock and Sexy You Radio. Coming at you live tonight, worldwide, on LA Talk Radio. I'm your host, Amber Lynn, and it is my great pleasure to be here with you guys once again tonight. RNSU has been working overtime, folks, again, taking the radio airwaves by storm each week, bringing you celebrity guests from the music film, TV, and entertainment e industries, each more exciting, and this week is no exception. We have another epic guest lineup for our listeners tonight, built to last, refusing to follow indie music scene status quo that dominates California. They have tasked themselves bringing homegrown American New Metal back to the forefront. They are live in the studio with <laughs> us tonight. Please welcome to the show the Dirty Machines, David <laughs> Leach, and Nightmare. What's happening, y'all? How you doing? Good, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm just glad to be back. It's are been a you? while. We I am. are so glad to have you back in the house. I gotta tell you. And we were just talking about it before the show. And I said, save the story for the show. We don't want to spoil it. But our listeners seem to remember the last time we had David on the show. What an awesome show it was. It was. There was like a little surprise hook, though, that I was not expecting. <laughs> Here he comes into the studio. And if you've ever seen their music video, then you realize this is a serious act. Okay. Walking in the studio behind him comes this little lady. And I'm like, he goes up the door and he goes, hey, uh, I hope you don't mind. My mom is with me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd be my mom. So. <laughs> he goes, that'd be my mom. Turn around and there she is. My mom was in town because we were playing the House of Blues that night. Remember? And yeah, she, uh, my mom was in town that weekend. So mom you know my mom, mom, man. Mom like, mom, man. She yeah. was... Uh, a little taken back by what was going on. She's never seen me in a radio interview, but it was amazing. That was just such a great, that was like just such a great hook for me. You know, mom's in the house. Mom was cool as shit, yeah. okay? But you never know. It could go either way, especially with a show like mine. Yeah. You know, because we're completely uncensored. And I said to him, I said, you know, we're uncensored. <laughs> Is mom going to be cool with this? Because he goes, they're going to sit out in the day room and listen to the show. I said, okay, well, we'll know if they're cool with it when we get off the air, if they're still out in the day room. But they were. Yeah. My, <laughs> mom, my mom's watching right now. Is she? Yeah, hey, she's, mom. Yeah, she's in Kansas City, so. I'll there tell you, you what, go. man. Mama Mama knows how to kick it, man. She's all awesome personality. She's got our backs. Full one for the pole one, man. I love you, Mama Mama. <laughs> That's right. And you know what? How do you think we got all this talent? All of us. You know, we get yeah. it from our parents. Yeah, we get it from our moms. Yeah, absolutely. And then I think we get to a certain place in life where we're starting to get a little older and we're like, no, oh, my mom, I'm not bringing my mom or my dad or whatever anymore. And they're like, what? How do you think your ass got here? Mm -hmm. So anyway, howdy mom. She's watching. What's up? And I bet <laughs> she's really proud of you these days, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. She's uh she's my number one fan. That's always that's that's always gonna be that way. 
So a lot has happened for you and the band yeah. since the last time we had you on the show. A lot. And you reminded me that the last time you were on RNSU, you and I knew you were doing other stuff. You were acting, you had some shows coming up. We talked about it the last time you were on the show. Mm -hmm. But you reminded me just a minute ago that you were just starting out acting. Yeah. I was when I met you. I had no credits at all. I had like one. I like I said, I had one line on Bold and the Beautiful, and it was like Sergeant. That was, oh, it. That was that, it. That was my oh. only line. That was my only line. And then uh, two years ago, I booked State of Affairs on NBC, and that kind of snowballed the next thing. But the big thing was uh, last year when I booked This Is Us on NBC. Really? That really, really jump started everything. And I always play the piece of shit roles. And then so. you're in Ray Romano's. <laughs> Probably, yeah, yeah, right? I, I shot that uh, about a couple months ago. I'm on the Ray Romano has a new show coming out called Get Shorty. Right. It's with Chris O'Dowd, and um, it's like it's gonna be a really it's like the remember the movie with Danny DeVito. Yeah. So it's gonna be a remake of that, and uh, I got a little part on that, so it's gonna be good. Very cool. Congratulations. Thank you. I've I got I successfully landed a couple roles without having to sleep with anybody. <laughs> well, you know. What's wrong with that? There's no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do. No, I'm just kidding. I told everyone that uh, after 10 years, I'll, I don't care. I'll do anything for a role. So. <laughs> That's the industry, bro. Careful saying that in this town, right? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of different, though, the way the music scene works in the, in the movie scenes. You know, you don't got to, well, everybody just in the music industry, we all, I guess they all just sleep with each other. And you, <laughs> right? Speaking of which, how did you meet Nightmare here? Oh my gosh. And by yeah. the way, everybody that's out there on social media, Facebook Live, check it out. He's in full mask in the oh, studio. Yeah, you know. Are you comfortable? And I'm the most comfortable when I got this on. And he's such a sweetheart, too. <laughs> he he looks like a scary monster, right? He comes in with that. I was like, well, where's the back? I've seen him walk through a, the busiest mall in California in that get up. So. What do they, and what do they do? Are they like, ah, I'm just a kid. And you know, the funniest thing, the kids that we passed were the funnest ones. They were the ones that were like, look at that. Oh, oh. Ooh, and he's then, cool. Yeah, oh, right? man. And their parents are like, uh-uh, no, uh-uh, get back. Yeah, you know? kid, the parents <laughs> are like, get back. Right? The kids are like, Transformers. <laughs> like, yeah. Cool. Seen them in my favorite movie. But then, yeah, the parents, you know, the adults. We had, like, I think we had a couple security guards that were standing next to the line with us just kind of eyeballing oh yeah a little under their breath cold talk yo 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 with the skull guy yo well, yo they don't stop you or make you take the mask off they wouldn't dare <laughs> they didn't we we were in line for santa we like we every, <laughs> every year dirty machine takes a picture with santa at the mall uh and so we i mean they, I remember that they came up to one of our members and they're like, "What the hell?" And yeah. we're like, "We just want to meet Santa." And Santa was scared shitless. <laughs> Santa was not. Remember, he was Santa, not feeling it. Santa man. wasn't feeling. He he actually said when it was our turn, he was like, "You guys aren't gonna hurt me, are you?" <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And Dirty Machine is relatively new, or at least they were on their first music video. Yeah, when we had you on the show. And we were brand new. Yeah. Right. So how is it going since then? Well, I'm I'm the only remaining member from that lineup, and wow. yeah, OG, OG, I'm the I'm the last one standing, and um, Wait, Nightmare chase them all off. Or yeah, <laughs> they don't stand yeah. a chance against Nightmare, <laughs> yeah. but the group, the group, it's over. The group we have now is the is the A team. It's the group that was meant to be, and um, I wish the former members the best. Like, there's nothing you know bad to say about them, but these guys just um, they're the. It's who I was looking for all along. You were planning that. We Not at all. Because you, you never even mentioned anything like that. No. You guys, okay, so you guys did the first music video together. Yeah, the we. Former band. So yeah. this is the new. This is the new lineup. The new Dirty new Machine. Yep, yeah, new roster. Right. That's <clears throat> awesome. Okay, so you guys parted ways. That was what? It must have been two years ago. That was right? a couple months after I came on the show. We played the House of Blues and we split up the next. Uh, a couple of weeks later and then my freaking appendix burst and I was in the hospital Wow! the band dismantled during that time and then me and the original bass player picked back up the pieces and then we found this guy which it was the saving grace and then I found our guitarist frontman Darren Davis who does the Nightmares on Drums Nightmares on Drums right. yeah right. I saw that because I was looking up the YouTube doing research for the show wow yeah so, thank you I'm humbled and let me tell you like you know I'm you know, I, I'm a huge fan of what I do. I love what I do. Right. Uh, you know, like this this style of music saved my life. You know, as a teenager. So, 
you know, coming out here, I, I had this idea that like, oh man, I'm gonna find tons of people that do this. And no, that is definitely not the case. You Let know, when I first came out. Just expound on that for a minute. Mm -hmm. This type of music saved my life growing up as a kid. Yeah. In what way? What? Okay. Just... Um, okay, so I'm uh, the child of two addicts, uh -huh. uh, and my father, you know, he kept he stayed he kept me, you know, uh, through through my early on through my adolescence uh, before he and my adoptive mom, which is best mom for me. Uh, when they separated, uh, but uh, early on I had to go through the uh, challenges of being a child that has parents that are into drug abuse. And, I and my completely understand. Parents have been in and out of jail, and you know families in disarray. Like I grew up like having to chase down, track down who am I related to, who is this, who is this, and right. I, and some of my friends that I made growing up were the were the kids that were in the recovery programs that my dad had been going through and I didn't realize that till later on in life and when you when you realize like this has just been my the, like the majority of my upbringing like early on you just kind of have to reevaluate like how you see things and the confusion and the frustration Tons. and the anger and the pain Tons. and so the music comes and especially I could see it with the drums to be able to get in there and beat on something because Man. to get that energy out of you Absolutely. I get it I am myself, so I was good as a child. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, but you know what? It's 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 prevalent yeah. in the world, you know, and mm -hmm. it's it's hard on the kids. It's yeah. hard on the kids, and thank God for the music for yeah. all of us, and often with many of us that are into heavy metal, new metal, you know, uh, punk. It's because it's the aggression behind the music, yeah. the music that is the driving force, mm -hmm. and that what that is what makes you so ed on the edge, and the success that comes out of it is because the audience can feel that. It's real. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. It's, and I know with the first music video, it was twisted. It yeah. was one of the reasons why I had contacted you and wanted mm -hmm. you on the show because. It, you know, we're an uncensored show, and you know the first music video had was real twisted. It's real funny those those three girls uh, that played the girls in the video. They're really doing really good. Like the blonde, uh, her name's Madison. She's in the new Jumanji movie with The Rock and uh, awesome. Jack Black. That's and, awesome. And then uh, another girl, Paige, that that played the other girl. She's a she's a lead on a soap opera. So like it's kind of funny that they all lead back to the dirty machine video because that that thing's not going anywhere. Well, <laughs> you know what happens is is that something explodes and then you get known for it. You yeah, know, you just you, you get know. out They're there. They're sweethearts. I mean, they they did an amazing job, and I, I'll never forget the director. His name's Nayab Ramos. He he said, just trust me. He goes. He told the band. He goes, I'm going to do this scenario where a girl gets raped, but she's going to come out is a vigilante or she's going to come out on top. Right. And we were so green. We didn't even know what to say. You know, it's big directors telling us this. So we, we trusted them and it's the best decision we ever made, you know, because it did take a lot of flack. I remember when we had Huge, you on the yeah. show, I think somebody even commented yeah. uh, at me or on social media that I was backing this kind yeah. of rape scenario video and that, that wasn't what it was about. And you explained it really well on the show when you said, you know, she comes out as the vigilante and she, mm -hmm. she, you know, wins in the end of this. Well, that shit happens every day at parties, at college parties, you know, like, yeah. you know, fucks are raping girls and getting off of 30 days probation. You know, that shit happens every day. You see it in the news all the time. All I don't the know time. if you guys heard about it, but just in West Hollywood, the area, uh, this last weekend, some guy just came up on his girlfriend walking her dog and she had broken up with him a few weeks earlier and he just shot her killed her right there Shit, in front of damn. all the neighborhood right there at seven o'clock at night walking the dog in the middle of on robertson in west hollywood right there right in the middle of it and this Mark. kind of stuff happens every day and you know why because people don't know how to release their inner yeah. demons mm -hmm. and yeah. their aggressions and you know a lot of people grew up in bad childhoods and yeah. they have all that going on inside and then it comes out later, but you don't need to take it out on other human beings, you know? So it's always good when you see, and of course we always love a good, the guy that's getting bullied, whether it's a woman or right. a male, mm -hmm. can, you know, get up on their feet and 
handle business. Handle some business one day, because we always grow up to you know be these angry little. J Dead will always be part of the Dirty Machine. Uh, what started it, but. The new lineup now, Amber, I just can't wait for you to see it. It's just, uh, it's the dream. Like I said, we have a DJ now, uh, does turntables, DJ Akusa, who is we the- We saw him yeah. on social media. He made a little peep he, out on social media. Dude, right? he, yeah. he's, the, he's the cornerstone. We got a, our new bass player is Youngblood. He's, uh, he's a recovering addict too, and he's just been through so much. And his story, Nathan, Nathan's his real name. Nathan's story is incredible. And he has three beautiful children and- who else? We, we got Hedge on guitar. Hedge, Arnold, man. And Hedge, Arnold, Hedge, and then Hedge. Darren Davis. But you'll meet all of them. I mean, we're, you know. We'll, we'll have to come out on the 28th. By the way, yeah. uh, listeners, they have a show coming up at the Whiskey on April 28th. With so Trapped. Should, with Trapped. <laughs> you remember them? Yeah. Okay. A lot so, of <laughs> so you got to get out there, get your tickets. How are they going to get the tickets? We, we uh, well, of course. We have them on hand. Uh, we're selling at twenty bucks, or you can get them at the door. Yeah, whiskey, you can get them at the open. door. Okay, cool. So yeah. if you guys are outside the station right now, we can come out and get you some tickets. Get you yeah. some tickets, y'all. Get, get you hooked and, up on some tickets. And one yeah. show, Amber, that you got to see that we we're, we just booked, and we're so fucking excited for it. We're playing with Corey Feldman August eleventh at the Whiskey. Oh my God, Corey's <laughs> been on the show several. I, I'm times. sure. Yeah, They're I know. Like, he's like their family. Yeah. And the angels and yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's Corey Feldman and the and I'm my my favorite movie ever is Lost Boys. So I booked it just because of that. And I, I remember I asked the band. Where I, are you playing with them? The Whiskey. Oh, he's playing at the Whiskey. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a great show. He's doing two nights. That. He's doing yeah. yeah. So I remember I sent the group text out to the guys and I thought they'd say no. I was like, can we open for Corey Feldman? And they said really. Oh, and, the, and the, my band shot back. They're like, fuck yeah, let's yeah, do it. Course. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he received a lot of his, you know, the way they received his new yeah. album. There was like he was on the Today Show. There yeah. was all kinds of crazy stuff. He's on the show. He's a he's a friend of mine. I love him. And man. I love them. And yeah. God bless them. They're such awesome, awesome people and incredibly talented. But he also has his own vision, okay? And mm. it's twisted, mm. you know? And it's not for everyone, <laughs> right? Yeah. And that's that's when you have the balls to go out there and to do your own thing, it, that's that's how you, you get this brilliance that comes in. So Nightmare you know, didn't even know he was doing shit, and we were at IHOP one night at 2 a.m., and I'll never forget. Yeah, you pulled up his shit on YouTube, and you're like, motherfucker. I was like, what? Yeah, he's, he's 12. He still looks like a 12-year-old. Yeah, 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 he hasn't changed a bit. It's yeah, great. and he's got those angels that go along with them, and Angel Courtney, D. Jack, she's been on our show. She's awesome. She's a, she's a friend. They were at my birthday party. I wish you guys were would have been there. Oh, we won't miss it again. No, That's right. Again. This year, you guys got to come. Come. Uh, yeah. So, okay, so now you've got a new group together, yeah. and you've worked on some new projects. You, I understand you guys are working right now on a record deal. Yeah, we currently got signed. We can't really announce who yet, just because we, we want to make it big. We want to do it right when we announce, but uh, we're super, super, super excited to be a part of the team. Okay, and, cool. Uh, they finally, we finally found someone that believes in our genre, you know? So many people steer away from it, and... I mean, me and this guy next to me, man, we break down so many doors daily to get this yeah. shit out. So yeah. this will come with the release of the new album. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Is the record. Tell her about it, man. Like, a full length, full length yeah. record. Four years in the making. This album, I mean, I gotta say, it. We, we compare it to... Well, I won't even say that. I'll say that it reminds us of what it was like for us when we came across our heroes. Like, when we were teenagers, when we came across our Limp Biscuit, our Lincoln Park... Our corn, we we like, dang, this thing is like the anthem of my life, and we uh, we have just created our anthem in our own way, and hopefully we can we can deliver that. In fact, I guarantee we're gonna deliver that to any of you know the next following generation that feels like they need someone that has that can give them the voice of validation. That's what we do. Is that who you see as your inspiration? We have a those, few. Those bands, it, that's that's just a form. few. It's just a few. We got a, quite a few. I mean, yeah, we have so many of them. I mean, like they, they. I mean, what the ones he named are pretty much, and they're still going to this day. You know, they're still up and running. And uh, there's, there's definitely a window for a band like us to come in. And we've been working hard at it. You know, we played, we played the places in front of nobody at, at one a two a.m. in the morning. Yeah. 
we've done it and uh this group that we got together they're not gonna quit man we're we will annoy the fuck out of you <laughs> seriously and there's other and there's other bands out there that you know that we're noticing and discovering that yeah we're all trying to you know pick up the torch again and let people know this style of metal this style of rock has not gone away it's it's very oh, no. it's very strong and there's plenty of people that are happy to be the voice for it's others. picking up speed now and we talked about this last week with the app that was on what is the difference to you between new metal and metal i mean what is how does it change uh, <laughs> dude you are you have this answer you've been waiting your whole well, life for this answer <laughs> okay well i mean I, I grew up, you know, not just a, a rockhead, metalhead, punk rocker. I also have a very strong love and passion for hip hop. And the beauty that hip hop brings to to life is it can. This, that's a style that can show a dark side, and in the same jump, show the beauty in validating how that affects you. That's what hip hop does. And okay. and then metal is a has been like an outlet for when you're angry or when you're extremely happy, when you're extremely sad, when you're extremely ser serene, it takes the extremities of each feeling that you have and then you match it with that passion that hip hop provides. And, and that's I, heavy metal. Is that what you would say is heavy metal or is this new metal? This is, what is, this is way more like heavy new metal. Heavy metal becomes new metal. Uh, I guess uh, you in my mind. that all the time now. New yeah, metal, new yeah. metal. Yeah. New metal is when you have that, that hip hop influence into okay. it. When you have the rap because we have the DJ and we have crazy leech over here man like he goes okay. down like crazy uh, yeah i mean we and then but we balance that fine line because uh we we added another front man darren davis and that does the melodic vocals mm -hmm. we're just a we're a cluster i call us a beautiful cluster fuck but i mean we are we are new metal we stay true to our roots yeah. and, and i see it as more theatrical the it is theatrics yeah. come in you gotta more, see it. right everyone has a mask yeah. everyone has a mask except me and, and darren the other singer or makeup or, or makeup and yeah. there's other yeah. things coming in and when the music videos come out they have a lot more theatrics to them yeah. maybe maybe that's just my yeah. opinion no but you're that, absolutely that's, you're right that's right. sort of what i'm interpreting here so we have a a taste of your new song oh, yeah. that's going to be coming out uh, on the new record for our listeners. You guys want to set it up? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I've been talking enough. Uh, yeah, this is our song. It's a new single off our debut record entitled Discord. The song is Seeds. And this is our, we feel this song is a, how it came about was just, I mean, how did, how did we even, this, this was a natural, this was five guys in a fucking garage on a hundred degree day that wrote this song. I mean, there was no pre-recording. No. There was no pre-tracking. This was written as beautifully, organically as it could be. So we're very proud of it. I mean, because uh, Dave Grohl, you know, I can't say enough about that guy, but he said the biggest problem today is bands just don't get in the garage and play anymore. Yeah. And uh, Dirty... Well, here's what happens when they do. Yeah. yeah. And Dirty... Oh, you got it. <laughs> Seeds, baby. Dirty Machine. It's good. 